Hey, hey, you're out in the garage with Easy Jeezy. Today I want to answer a viewer's request for how to seal your valve covers. What I'm looking at right here is the, is the bottom edge of this cork gasket. Now, there's different kinds of cork gaskets. I just changed the one on this other side. It's kind of what spurred me to make this uh, video here. It was a few videos back. Somebody had asked me about how to do it. And see how tight that bale was? That can make a difference too. The kind of bales that you've got, how tight they are, how tight they hold, uh, how thick your cork gasket is. Well, this looks pretty good here, but I took some off the edge. Uh, I had to take a little material right here off the edge of the uh, cork gasket on the outside edge because it didn't lay in there properly. Now, let's just take this gasket and whole valve cover and we'll set it up here on this head. A valve cover is going to sit on here loose. There's going to be a little bit of room. Let's talk a little bit about gaskets while we're at it. You can see the difference how this gasket is dark and this gasket is light. This gasket's got more cork in it. And I remember there was a period of time when they were actually getting black. I think they were putting ground up rubber in the, in the cork gaskets and those didn't work well at all. Um, I'm not sure if you go to your supplier that they have those or not. Uh, these I get in 10 packs now and you want to be really careful with these gaskets. You don't want to just throw them in a box someplace or have them take a take a bad shape because if once they take a set, it's hard to uh, it's hard to get them in here. Okay, now we're going to take this gasket and here's an example. Just what I just what I'm telling you. Okay, see what's happening in that gasket? If I push it down and get it in the the look at see how that's pushed up. All right, that's sucks you cannot use this valve cover and this gasket the way that is you can force it on but you're going to have problems you're going to have leaks and it's probably going to suck that that gasket up it'll it might take a set it might not but that's not good right there now let's take a let's take an older let's let's just try this same gasket we knew it we know it doesn't want to lay in that one It's not quite as bad in that one, but it's still sticking up, okay? Now look what I did on this gas on this valve cover. This is years ago. I kept popping up the the gasket, so I ground a flat washer and laid it in the bottom so that I could capture this gasket under the washer there, see? Now you don't want this to come into contact with your aluminum and have it pushing away that's got to fit in there you need to feel that as you're doing it no nah, I don't want to I don't want to screw up this brand new gasket so we're just gonna keep moving it now okay look at that that's laying in there pretty flat isn't it looks pretty nice okay and that is a Volkswagen valve cover it's got the little emblem right here now, this one that I have on the floor, this one right here, this has got that VW emblem on it. It was sold as original equipment manufacturer, but that gasket's not happy. It's not, it's too small. Whatever they're using to stamp out these valve covers, it's not the same. Either that or whoever's making the gasket is not cutting the gaskets to the right size. That gasket needs to lay in here comfortably relaxed and you won't even need any sealer to hold that thing in place. Now, there's two different, there's something else here if you take notice. This one's got this little pressed out part, this dimple that's pushed out. Now here's, here's one that doesn't. It's just smooth. Here's one that doesn't have it. This chrome one has got it. Now, I don't like chrome. This probably came on something I purchased or a car that I purchased. And 
chrome does not dissipate heat. These valve covers are part of your cooling system. They're constantly being, having oil splashed on them and it rejects the heat. Chrome doesn't reject the heat as well as this steel. It's just a fact. Chrome don't get you home. Um, I see some ads come out now for stainless not steel. Not only is that stainless steel valve cover going to be heavier, it's not going to change shape as much. That aluminum head against these cork gaskets on a steel valve cover, this is going to expand at a different rate than this valve cover is. I guarantee you. it's two different materials. That's why when you do use a valve cover sealer, you only want to put it on the valve cover side. Now, when it comes time to clean these things up and get that junk off, you're going to have a heck of a time getting it out of these corners. You might scrape it with a screwdriver. You might get in there with a putty knife. You might use a power tool. But you don't want to make deep scratches that's going to encourage that oil to go by or your eye's going to have like a, a little bit of a drip. So, aluminum valve covers. Let's talk a little bit about aluminum valve covers. Some of those look pretty snazzy and they'll come with... Uh, like a chrome bale. I'm sure this one came either with this chrome valve cover and, and a lot of times these bales they're just they're not spring steel they're just uh, steel and they won't uh, keep the even pressure on them for a long period of time. They may work for a while. Everything seems to work for a while but if you're going to do oil changes and valve adjustments every 1500 miles and especially if you're crazy like me and you've got your valve covers on and off and you're doing different things uh, a lot more frequently than that and just like to check things if you're running zero valve clearance you can you can take and a file a coarse file sandpaper on a on a power tool and you can uh, grind off the outside edge of this cork gasket and the lighter cork seems to work better for me than the dark cork the darker the cork is the worse that it lasts. I've also seen people, this little washer I did, and this wasn't my idea, I got it out of a uh, off-road book, uh, Jeff Hibbard, uh, Baja Buggies and something like that, it's an old book. He used to solder or weld a washer on the outside so that, and then take a, a nylon tie and he would loop it through the washer and around the bale to keep it there so if you did get into uh, desert conditions and uh, get into some brush and things like that it wouldn't hook your bale and pull it off another thing that can uh, uh, influence is aftermarket heads uh, where the hole is placed how thick it is you're gonna have maybe uh, a lot of tension on one side and not on the other uh, something else we might want to touch base on is which ways up with a bale I like when I have my bales on I like to have the curved pointing down towards the ground. Uh, I don't know if you can see it here. But that it just makes it easier for me to get a screwdriver in there and pop it on and off. And I have noticed when I have had leaks and drips that uh, I maybe had my bale upside down and I turned it around and the, it quit dripping. So what I'll do is just... Uh, Put a little, a couple of streaks of it, or maybe I'll just put it across the bottom uh, flat over. I always want to use the valve covers that have the little tit on it. I won't use a valve cover like this. You may have noticed that you see a, a little hose adapter here, a bulkhead fitting. And this is to accept a uh, half inch heater hose uh, because when you're climbing up steep sand dunes or going up long steep dirt hills and you're you know, in first gear, second gear, revving the snot out of it, all the oil goes to the back of the engine. And if you've got an oil breather like this, it'll just be puking oil out here because you get a little blow by and crankcase ventilation and it's just going to uh, make a mess all of your engine. So what we used to do is use this type of configuration and I put some sort of sealer, may even be JB Weld. Sometimes they came with O-rings, but I wanted to make sure that didn't come off. And this you'd mount it up here to the forward side of your engine and then you'd run your heater hoses so if you're going up a hill this is pointed up generally when you're going downhill you're not stepping on the gas that hard you might be getting some revs and stuff on it but you're not getting as much blow by and it didn't seem to be as much of a problem but when you're going uphill with the hammer down uh, 
then you'd want something like that as incorporated into your crankcase ventilation system. So uh, you could, if you have a, a gasket that keeps popping out and it doesn't hold shape, I was gonna go in the house and see. It, it occurred to me that maybe you'd take a a uh, a clothespin. You'd put your put your sealer down here, put your gasket in place, and then set your clothespin on there just to kind of hold it make sure it's going to stay there because in the process of putting your valve cover on <laughs> in the very process of putting your valve cover on if you start wiggling it around you may push the cork gasket out of position and and you're setting yourself up for uh, a leak right from the get-go so once those uh, cork gaskets get uh, deformed or, or if you put a lot of sealer on them, you'll destroy them going out. And I have lost a, uh, had a valve cover gasket get sucked in. I've had them drop from the top with the ones that don't have a tab. And I've had them just pop up and, and oil will start leaking out. I had my oil light come on one time. I was going up the canyon over here. I immediately pulled it over. And that, well, that's why I uh, carry extra oil with me. That particular day what I did was I took the valve cover off, I wrapped a piece of electrical tape one time around the gasket and had the two ends of it down here so that when I put the valve cover on the two pieces of electrical tape and I could pull that gasket back down because it was deformed and, and just took a set and I just pulled it down and I made it back home and I was able to change out the gasket. But that's why you know it's a good idea to carry extra gaskets with it but uh, put them under the seat or someplace where they're not all wadded up and uh, if you find a supplier that has some gaskets that you like uh, buy a set now a gasket set costs 20 bucks I remember years ago they only cost six or seven dollars and and you got a complete engine gasket set so anyhow probably wore this subject out completely Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy Jeezy out.